हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस द करेक्टराइजेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स बाय माइक्रोस्केल टेक्निक्स व्हाट यू मीन बाय माइक्रोस्केल टेक्निक्स माइक्रोस्केल टेक्निक्स रिक्वायर वन टू टेन मिलीग्राम ऑफ सॉलिड इफ आ कंपाउंड इज सॉलिड देन वी रिक्वायर द अमाउंट दैट इज बिटवीन वन टू टेन मिलीग्राम एंड इफ द कंपाउंड इज लिक्विड देन वी विल टेक वन टू टू ड्रॉप्स फॉर एनालिसिस now this technique they has various advantages as we are using a less quantity of chemicals in analysis in characterization therefore therefore there is a saving of chemicals saving of time less fumes in the labs so complete analysis of an organic compound by this technique they requires 1 to 1 gram of solid and if it is liquid then 2 ml of liquid is required for the complete analysis now there uh are five steps for the systematic identification of organic compound first step is the preliminary test second solubility and miscibility test third one is the detection of elements fourth one detection of functional groups and fifth one is the determination of physical constant and identification of the compound so we will discuss each step in detail the first step they are the preliminary test in preliminary test we will first note down the nature of the compound that whether the compound is solid or liquid if it is solid then our compound is carbohydrate acid phenol amine higher hydrocarbon they may be present okay and if our compound is liquid then alcohol ketone aldehyde ester phenol amine they may be present okay after the color we will note down, after the nature we will note down the color of a compound what is the color of the compound if it is yellow solid then meta dinitrobenzene para nitrotoluene nitrophenol nitroaniline may be present if it is yellow liquid nitrobenzene may be uh, present if it is brown then para toluene or resorcinol may be present if it is blackish compound then alpha naphthol pinkish compound pink color compound if it is then beta naphthol buff or reddish brown aniline phenol aromatic amine and if the compound is colorless it means simple acid alcohol ester ketone aromatic hydrocarbon may be present now after note down the nature color we will note we will see the order of the compound what is the order of the compound if the order is carbolic then phenol is present if it is fishy like then amine is present sweet pleasant uh, order is there then ester alcohol halogen derivatives may be present bitter almonds nitrobenzene and benzaldehyde may be present moth balls and naphthalene may be present and if there is no particular smell in the compound then aromatic acid or amide or carbohydrate they may be present in the compound after this we will do the flame test flame test generally is used to see whether your compound is aromatic or aliphatic aliphatic in nature okay so for this we will heat a small amount of compound on a porcelain piece if sooty flame will come it means aromatic compound or aliphatic compound containing small proportion of hydrogen they may be there maybe chloroform ccl4 anything compound may be there if non sooty flame is there it means the aliphatic compound is aliphatic in nature if substance charge carbohydrate sulfonylic acid may be present next test is bilston test bilston test is generally to see whether your compound contain halogens or not so to perform a bilston test heat a small piece of copper foil okay till it imparts no color to the flame we have to heat it early the copper foil is reddish brown in color so when you heat it it become colorless then you have to place your compound on that copper foil and again you have to heat it so greenish blue flame means that halogen compound certain amide like urea thiourea may be present so if you see here that is the bilston test i will show you here so this is the bilston test okay so if this greenish blue flame if come it if came it means your halogen compound is present in halogens they may be present in your compound next test is test for saturation there are two tests for uh, see the unsaturation in your compound first is bromine water test and second is the kmno4 test 
Now in bromine water test, we will take the compound in a test tube, then 1 ml water, shake it well and then one, add 1 to 2 drops of bromine water. If the color of the bromine water decolorize, it means your compound is unsaturated. If decoloration with the formation of precipitate will occur, it means easily substratable compound is there. If no decoloration is there, it means saturated compound is there. Okay. So this is how we will see the bromine water test. Now in this test you will see here the bromine water color is yellowish orange color and if the color of the bromine water decolorize, see the decoloration take place in the second test tube. If this will occur it means your compound is unsaturated compound. Similarly one more test uh, to see the unsaturation compound is KMnO4 test. Here, here is a KMnO4 that is a pink purple color compound purple color solution so to uh, perform the KMnO4 test we have to we will take the compound in a test tube then add 2 ml of water shake it well and 2 drops of dilute KMnO4 you will add in the test tube if the color of the KMnO4 decolorize it means unsaturated compound is, will be there and if no decoloration occur it means this is the indication of a saturated compound so here in this pic you will see this is a KMnO4 test and the in the second test tube the color of the KMnO4 decolorized that means the compound is unsaturated compound now next is the solubility test the second step that is the solubility test so in this test we will see whether a compound is soluble in water or not if the substance if the compound is soluble in water then we per, will perform this table in this table first test we will do that is we will take the compound 0.01 gram of compound plus 3 ml water shake it well then test the solution with litmus paper if substance dissolved it means lower member of alcohol ester ketone carbohydrates they may be present if the blue litmus paper turns red it means water soluble acid or phenol they may be present if red litmus paper turns blue, it means water soluble base may be present. And if there is no action on the litmus paper, it means water soluble neutral, they are present. Okay, they may be present. So, so this is the test whether you will see whether compound is acid, phenol, base or neutral. Second test, you will take 0.01 gram of compound in a test tube that adds saturated sodium bicarbonate solution. If effervescence is there then it means water soluble acid is present okay and see if we will take 0 0.01 gram of component test tube add water add alcoholic FeCl3 solution to this clear solution blue to violet color means appearance of blue to violet color means water soluble phenol may be present so in this way you can see whether your compound is water soluble phenol acid base or neutral and if your compound is not soluble in water then you have to perform this table number B okay so to see whether your com compound is acid phenol base neutral whatever compound is here so first test we will do for to see whether your compound is acid or base so first test is we will take 0 0.01 gram of compounded test tube then add 1 ml of saturated sodium bicarbonate solution shake it well and wait for 5 seconds strong effervescence and compound dissolve it means carboxylic acid is present okay if the compound dissolves then add 1 is to 1 ratio in a 1 is to 1 ratio HCl solution drop by drop to this clear solution or solid appear it means carboxylic acid is confirmed second test we will do for the to see whether a compound is phenol if the carboxylic acid test will not come positive it means we have to perform the test for phenol so take compound in a test tube then add 3 ml of dilute NOH solution shake it well if compound dissolves phenol present okay to confirm the phenol in the compound if the compound dissolves then add acyl solution drop by drop to this clear solution a solid appeared it means phenol is confirmed if phenol is not there then we will do the test for base again you have to take the compound in a test tube add 1 ml of 1 is to 1 HCl shake it well and wait for 5 seconds if compound dissolve base present then add 5 ml of 20 percent sodium hydroxide solution to this clear solution if a solid appears base confirmed 
if base is not present in a compound if this test will not come positive then you have to do the d d test that is if the compound is insoluble in sodium bicarbonate sodium hydroxide and hcl solution then it means the compound is neutral compound so after this we will write the results that whether your compound is aliphatic aromatic saturated unsaturated water soluble or insoluble acid phenol base and neutral now for the detection of element we will do the sodium fusion test that is lessigness test so in this we will take a small piece of dry sodium metal in a fusion tube and heat it gently till it till it melts or fuses add equal quantity of compound to this fused metal heat it gently then strongly till it becomes red hot plunge the red hot tube in 8 ml of distilled water taken in a porcelain dish covering it immediately with an asbestos sheet crush the fusion tube completely carry out one more fusion in a similar way boil the extract for 5 minutes reduce the volume to about 3 uh, ml and filter it now perform the following test using this filtrate now we have to perform the test for the elements that is nitrogen sulfur and halogens so the test for nitrogen is we have to take two drops of filtrate and then we have to add a few drops of freshly prepared ferrous sulfate solution boil for a few minutes cool and then add 1 ml of dilute h2so4 if blue green color solution will there or blue precipitate will appear in your solution it means nitrogen is present in a compound now next is a test for sulfur two drops of filtrate plus two drops of two normal acetic acid plus two drops of lead acetate solution if black precipitate appear in the test tube it means sulfur is present one more test for sulfur two drops of filtrate that is your lessignex extract plus one drop of sodium nitroproside solution a violet or purple coloration means sulfur is present in our compound two drops of filtrate plus two drops of aqueous fecl3 solution a blood red coloration means nitrogen or sulfur they are present in the compound so this is the in this pick this is a sodium metal as sodium metal is very reactive so while performing this test we have to take care uh, while handling this sodium as it is very reactive so we we will always store this sodium metal in a oil okay now this is how step by step we will prepare the lessignex extract this is our step number 1 okay we are heating the fusion tube okay next in which we are plunge this fusion tube in the porcelain dish now in the third step we are boiling it to reduce the volume and in fourth step we are filtering the filtrate and with that filter we are doing the test for nitrogen sulfur and halogens now next is the test for halogens for halogens we will take 0.5 ml of filtrate in a test tube then 0.5 ml dilute hno3 and 0.5 ml of 5% agno3 if a thick white ppt appear in a test tube it means halogens present and if halogen is present then which halogen is present okay to see which halogen is present in our compound we have to take a filtrate 0.5 ml filtrate plus 0.5 ml of dilute h2so4 plus 0.5 ml of chloroform that is ch so cl3 and 0.5 ml of chlorine water shake it well and observe the color of the chloroform layer if the color of the chloroform layer is violet color it means iodine present yellow or brown color means bromine is present and if the color is colorless layer is there then chlorine is present so after performing the test for elements detection of elements we will classify the given compounds on the basis of elements which element are present in a compound we will classify into groups okay so group 1 if nitrogen and sulfur they are and halogens they are absent in a compound then we will choose group 1 that is carbon hydrogen and oxygen so according to whether which compound is yours carboxylic acid phenol neutrals we will follow that table if nitrogen is present in a compound and sulfur is absent halogen is absent then we will choose group 2 and that is c h o n and according to that 
whatever compound is that we have checked in solubility test whether compound is carboxylic acid phenol base neutral whatever is compound we have to follow that table to see which compound is given and if sulfur and nitrogen they are present in the compound halogen is absent then we have to choose group 3 that is carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur okay in this acid and neutrals are there and in group 4 if halogens they are present nitrogen and sulfur they are absent then we will choose group 4 that is CHO and halogens so in this neutrals there okay so according to whatever is the compound acid base or phenol we have to follow the table this is group 1 for carboxylic acids for carboxylic acid you have to take 0 0.01 gram of compound in a test tube 1 ml of water shake it well and add 1 to 2 drops of alcoholic FeCl3 solution so you will see the observation and according to that you have to see the inference okay if buff color is there benzoic acid violet color salicylic acid so whatever your acid you have to see the observation and according to this you will see which acid is yours the next table is for phenols if a compound is phenol then you have to follow this table okay there are three tests given here and according to them you will see which phenol is there phenol has alpha naphthol beta naphthol whatever is a compound that we will you can see by following this table the next is the table for neutrals okay then you there are these four tests to see which neutral compound is there whether it is aldehyde aliphatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde ketone whatever is whatever the compound is okay you will do the test see the observation and according to them you will decide which aldehyde ketone or aromatic aldehyde which compound is yours and this is a test for esters test for alcohols okay so you can follow this table and you can see the observation according to them you can see the get the inference that which whatever your compound is which compound is yours okay next is a group 2 c h o n carboxylic acid this was this is a table for carboxylic acid you will do or perform these three tests to see which carboxylic acid is yours it is by either nitro carboxylic acid or amino carboxylic acid or aromatic primary amino whatever your compound is you can see by note down the observation next is this is the table for phenols so if your compound is phenol then you have to perform this table to see which phenol is present whether it's nitrophenol minophenol aromatic primary amino group is present which compound is yours you have to follow this table for phenols next is the uh, base table so the above table is this one is for base and this one for neutrals you have to follow these two tables to see whether your compound which new base is present and which neutral compound is yours okay then test for analytes test for nitro group and this is the group 3 c h o n and s amino acids and neutrals so these are the test for amino acids and neutral compound whether your compound is amino sulfonic acid aromatic primary amino group thiourea whatever is compound you can note down the observation and according to that you can predict your compound so this is group 4 c h o and halogens neutrals so if group 4 is there then you have to follow this table okay and after this you have to write the result that whether your compound is aromatic or aliphatic saturated or unsaturated what are the elements present in a compound and functional group then you have to note down the melting point after doing all the steps all the tests you have to note down the melting and boiling point of the compound name of the organic compound and structure for example these benzoic acid cinnamic acid we have used for analysis okay so this benzoic acid is a water insoluble solid its melting point is 121 to 122 degrees celsius this is white color solid cinnamic acid boiling point one uh, melting point sorry 133 degrees celsius it is slightly yellowish water insoluble compound these are the compounds phenols some of the example of phenols this is the example of base that is aniline dimethyl aniline 
so aniline they have a boiling point 184 degrees celsius this is a colorless liquid and dimethyl aniline has a boiling point 193 degrees celsius this is a yellow solid and this is the example of a neutral compound that is nitrobenzene having well uh, sorry boiling point 210 degrees celsius this is a yellow colored liquid with a bitter almond smell immiscible with water okay so these are the example of some of the compound which are which can be used for the analysis so thank you so much